German philosopher Kant had a bizarre dream. He dreamed of rowing alone to a South African island. He observed two huge stone pillars on the island from afar and wanted to investigate, but the locals nabbed him as soon as he docked. The commander of those people told Kant immediately, if you tell the truth, you will be executed at the pillar of truth. If you tell a lie, you will be executed at the pillar of lies. Dead end anyway. Kant paused and continued, I will certainly be dragged before the pillar of the god of falsehood to be put to death. If Kant had proclaimed the truth, he should have been executed before the pillar of the god of truth, but he speaks for the god of falsehood. Conversely, if Conde had spoken falsely, he should have been executed before the pillar of the god of falsehood, but according to his statements, he should have been executed before the pillar of truth. The islanders were stunned, hesitated, and eventually let Kant go. Indeed, it is difficult to say if many of his remarks are accurate or false. The either or false mindset is foolish. Kant's dream reveals that human reason is often ambiguous and self-contradictory. Kant was motivated to write the antinomy of human reason in the critique of pure reason after waking up, arguing that human reason is unreliable. Antinomy is Kant's philosophy. Antinomy occurs when two valid views or beliefs on the same subject contradict each other. The antinomy of pure reason is crucial to Kant's philosophy because it allows him to enter the criticism of reason and find the root cause of the metaphysics predicament and a solution. Kant's approach was to view the unconditioned as the aim of morality rather than an object of knowledge, as human reason naturally seeks the unconditioned and inevitable. Although he saw the antinomy negatively, he also showed the inevitability of reason's inconsistencies, which shaped Hegel's proving technique.